Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Madoff and I started the Voltaire program at IOG as the group product manager for governance. In this video, I'll explain Cardano's governance system and in particular, the role of the constitutional committee. As an open source third generation blockchain, it is crucial to ensure that Cardano is sustainable and grows and matures in a decentralized and organic manner. Decentralized governance and decision-making are vital to give everyone a voice and control over the protocol's future development. The community is central to Cardano's identity, and Cardano's governance model reflects this by demonstrating the achievability of liquid and representative democracy. Through individual participation and immutable vote recording, ADA holders can decide treasury fund distribution and the platform's future development. So, as a community, how can we work together to outline policies and guidelines for the future development of Cardano and ensure that everyone has a voice? Traditionally, constitutions are a collection of rule sets that determine how laws are enacted, administered, and adjudicated in a given society. A constitution is vital to Cardano's community-led ecosystem to ensure fair participation, protection, and a foundation to meet current and future demands within a maturing ecosystem. The final constitution will be ratified by ADA holders using the on-chain voting features of Voltaire. Relevant provisions of the constitution will be enforced on-chain by the constitutional committee. The constitutional committee must vote on-chain along with ADA holders, but rather than providing their opinion of the merits of the proposal, they will signify its constitutionality. Where feasible, parts of the constitution will be automatically enforced using a smart contract associated with the constitution on-chain thus reducing reliance on the Constitutional Committee. To quote Charles Hoskinson, governance is not optional. No matter who you are, what you do, when you create something that other people use, the first question is how do we upgrade, maintain, and change it to meet our needs? The Cardano Improvement Proposal, or SIP 1694, was written by the community to discuss the future of on-chain governance for Cardano and ensure the sustainability of the platform. Named after the year of birth of Voltaire, the SIP aims to give everyone a voice and say in the direction of Cardano. The SIP seeks to advance the current governance system, ensuring every ADA holder has a voice in Cardano's governance. It outlines a voting framework to decide on updates to the protocol, new standards for improvements on chain, funding decisions, and governance of Cardano native tokens. The proposal outlines a tricameral model consisting of state pool operators, delegated representatives, and a constitutional committee, each with distinct responsibilities and roles. Cardano governance has a clear roadmap to bring the Cardano community through this whole process. The stages of the Cardano governance roadmap, particularly under SIP 6094, reflect a structured approach to evolving Cardano's governance model into a decentralized and community-driven system. This roadmap is designed to transition governance gradually, allowing for ample community feedback and refinement. Let's learn more about what that roadmap looks like. The Cardano Chang upgrade, which is part of the blockchain's transition into the Voltaire era, involves two major stages. Stage one is the introduction of governance features. This first step, known as Chang upgrade number one, involves deploying new governance features on Cardano. This marks the beginning of the technical bootstrapping phase described in SIP 6094, setting the stage for decentralized voting and governance actions. This first stage is scheduled to begin in the summer of 2024. Its purpose is to enable initial governance features and lay the groundwork for Conway era functionality. During this time, DREPs will be able to register and ADA holders can delegate their voting power. Plutus P3 will also be introduced, which includes new governance features. An interim constitution will be established with safeguards supported by a technical guardrail script. An interim constitutional committee will help oversee and facilitate any decision making during the interim period prior to the ratification of the full constitution. The bootstrap period will also be used to form the group of DREPs. Limited governance actions will be supported, including parameter changes, hard forks, and info actions. During the interim period, only SPOs and the Constitutional Committee will be able to vote on governance actions, including possible protocol parameter changes. The goal of the first stage is to ensure security and continuity during the governance bootstrapping phase, allowing DREPs to register and campaign for delegation while developing and ratifying a final constitution in 2024. 
This period is critical for setting up a stable and effective governance framework that will guide the more complex governance decisions in later stages. It is designed to gradually transition control and decision-making processes to the community in a controlled and secure manner. Stage two is the expansion of governance capabilities. In the second step, Chang upgrade number two, it takes the system out of the technical bootstrapping phase. This step unlocks the final features of on-chain governance, such as the participation of delegate representatives and treasury withdrawals. This enables the Cardano community to propose and fund new projects to ensure the ecosystem's sustainability and evolution. The second stage, which emphasizes decentralized governance, will be initiated by the community after the bootstrap period is complete. Intersect will oversee and establish and help facilitate the community in self-government initiatives for the Cardano ecosystem. All governance entities, including DREPs, SPOs, and the Constitutional Committee can vote on governance actions during this stage. The conclusion of this stage will allow for treasury withdrawals. These steps are designed to enhance Cardano's governance mechanisms, making the platform more community-driven and self-sustaining. The ratification of the Cardano Constitution as part of the governance model proposed in SIP 1694 involves several crucial steps designed to transition Cardano to a decentralized on-chain governance system. With an interim constitution in place to ensure the safety of the chain through this transition period, 2024 is all about community consultation. A series of global workshops will take place, gathering input from across the Cardano ecosystem throughout the latter part of the year, all leading up to the constitutional convention in Buenos Aires in December, and the eventual ratification of a final constitution by the community in early 2025. The initial set of technical guardrails within the Cardano governance model are defined by the community through the Cardano Parameter Committee. Once the guardrails are defined, they can be codified into a smart contract to automate their enforcement on the blockchain, ensuring all actions adhere to the community agreed standards. Guardrails will ensure that proposals for parameter changes and treasury withdrawals are evaluated against these preset rules. If a proposal violates these rules, it is automatically rejected by the blockchain, thereby preventing unconstitutional actions from being executed. This mechanism is critical for maintaining the integrity and adherence to the standards created to uphold the security of the blockchain. The Constitutional Committee comprises a set of individuals or entities who are responsible for overseeing the governance actions that are defined in SIP 6094 to ensure that the Constitution is respected. Once SIP 6094 is implemented with the Chang upgrade, the Constitutional Committee will be a governing body of the new on-chain governance features of Cardano. It will have the power to evaluate the constitutionality of a governance action submitted on chain and will be responsible for ensuring that any unconstitutional on chain governance actions are rejected and will therefore be integral to Cardano's operations. This committee operates under two states a normal state of confidence and a state of no confidence. In the state of no confidence, the committee cannot participate in governance actions and must be replaced to proceed with any governance decisions. The process for registering as a constitutional committee member involves community nominations and elections where candidates demonstrate their understanding and commitment to Cardano's governance principles. Specific details on the eligibility criteria, nomination process, and election mechanisms will be outlined in the governance documentation and may evolve as the community refines its governance structures. The Constitutional Committee plays a crucial role in the Cardano governance model by monitoring and ensuring that governance actions adhere to the Constitution. Members of the committee are expected to commit to a term potentially spanning years, reflecting the significant responsibility and continuity required in this role. This role is not a short-term commitment, but rather a substantial engagement depending on the evolving needs of the governance framework. The CC acts as a decision-making group, reviewing proposed changes and actions to ensure they align with Cardano's foundational principles. This involves a commitment to timely monitoring of governance actions, allowing the CC to provide informed and timely votes on key issues. The Cardano Constitution is a foundational document that outlines the guiding principles and values for governance on the Cardano blockchain. It sets the framework for decision-making processes, defines the roles and responsibilities of various governance bodies, and establishes the rules and procedures for making changes within the network. This Constitution is intended to ensure that Cardano's development and operations remain aligned with the community's interests, and that governance remains transparent, inclusive, and effective. As Cardano evolves, the Constitution may also be amended to reflect new insights and requirements.
Interpreting the Cardano Constitution involves a detailed analysis of its clauses, akin to how legal documents are interpreted in judicial systems. Each clause in the Constitution needs to be examined for its literal meaning, intent, and the implications it has on governance practices. For instance, a clause might specify the conditions under which changes to network protocols can be proposed, detailing procedural requirements and stakeholder responsibilities. When drafting decisions on constitutionality of governance actions, it is essential to provide clear reasoning for the vote, explaining why it is necessary and how it aligns with the Constitution. This helps build a strong foundation for the governance model and legitimacy for the constitutional process as the network evolves. Precedent plays a crucial role in the interpretation of a constitution. It involves using previous decisions or established practices as benchmarks for interpreting similar new situations. By referring to past interpretations or applications of the clauses, the community can ensure consistency and fairness in governance actions, reducing ambiguity and potential conflicts. Constitutional Committee members will have access to a range of tools on the Cardano blockchain designed to facilitate their governance roles effectively. These tools will include voting systems that are integrated directly into the blockchain, allowing for secure and transparent decision making. The Constitutional Committee portal is a tool to host the Cardano Constitution and allow anyone to get familiar with it and follow its evolution over time. It will also serve as the single point of truth for the Constitutional Committee members to see how Constitutional Committee members voted on a specific governance action with the inclusion of their rationale. For members of the Constitutional Committee, it serves as a portal to add reasoning to their votes and prepare it as an off-chain resource to be attached to on-chain governance actions. Additionally, analytics and monitoring tools would be provided to track governance proposals and their outcomes, ensuring that committee members can oversee the adherence to the Constitution effectively. These tools will be crucial for maintaining the integrity and functionality of the governance process within the Cardano ecosystem.